वी आर टेकिंग आर डी शर्मा सोल्यूशन क्लास इलेवन चैप्टर ट्वेंटी ज्योमेट्रिक प्रोग्रेशन एक्सरसाइज ट्वेंटी पॉइंट वन नाउ वी हैव द ज्योमेट्रिक प्रोग्रेशन विच ऑफ द टर्म इज फाइव हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेल्व बाय सेवन ट्वेंटी नाइन सो वी हैव टी एन एज ए आर टू दी वी क्रिएट दिस फाइव हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेल्व बाय सेवन So six to the twelve, six to the eighteen minus two by three, and this is to the power n minus one. Now five hundred and twelve is what? Two to the power nine. No, it's two to the two to the power nine, and seven twenty nine three to the power six. It's three to the power six. Eighteen can be two into nine. Nine can be written as three square. Now when you say two to the power nine by two, that is two to the power eight. And what about three to the power six? Add the powers. Three to the power eight. So this becomes minus two by three to the power n minus one. Now you can write it as minus one to the power n minus one and two by three to the power n minus one. So this is two by three to the power eight, two by three to the power eight, and then we have minus one to the power n minus one, two by three to, to the power n minus one. Now you can equate the power of two by three. So n minus one will be equal to eight. n will be 9 so ninth term is there find the fourth term from the end of the gp so we have direct formula last term we already have formula is an equals l 1 by 1 by r to the power n minus 1 so a is half r is 1 by 6 by 1 by 2 l is last term 1 by r 1 by 1 by 6 by 1 by 2 is 1 by 3 so 1 by r will become 3 so 3 to the power uh, because fourth term is there so 3 to the power 4 minus 1 so what do you get 1 by 62 1 by 162 the fourth term of a gp is 27 and the seventh term is 729 find the gp so fourth term t4 T four is twenty seven, and T seven, T seven is seven twenty nine. So T seven in AP we used to do a plus n minus one into d. Here we'll do a r to the power n minus one. So only reduce one number which is at the subscript of t. So a r to the power three is twenty seven. Similarly, a r six, a r to the power six. And seven twenty nine. Now a cancel one. This one by r to the power three, and this twenty seven is three to the power three. This is a nine nine three to twenty seven, and uh, and seven twenty nine is three to the power six. You have three to the power three in the numerator. So what do you get? One by three to the power three in the denominator. One by three to the power three in the denominator. So r from here, if you can take just reciprocal of these two. So R cube becomes three cube. R equals three. R equals three. So now you put in any of this equation. A R cube equals twenty seven. R you put as three three is nine nine three is twenty seven. So you have twenty seven twenty seven. That is twenty seven equals A R cube. A I am putting R as three. So three into three into three twenty seven twenty seven twenty seven cancels. A equals one. So now we have to find G P. G P can be found out by A A R A R square. A is one. Then one into three. Then one into three into the three like this. The seventh term of GP is eight times the fourth term, and fifth term is forty-eight. Find the GP. So what is given? The seventh term is eight times is eight times the fourth term. That is T four. So T seven is A R to the power six, and T four is A R to the power three. So what do we get? There is a relationship. A A cancels R cube, R six cancels R cube remains. So R cube equals eight. So eight you can write it as two to the power three. So two raise three. R equals two. Now T five five term. So T five A R to the power four is forty eight. So forty-eight R is already known to us. Two to the power four. Two to the power four is sixteen. 
So 48 by 16 equals 3. So A equals 3. A is known, R is known. Now you know how to make a GP. A, A, R, A, R square. Put A as 3, R as 2. A, A, R, A, R square like this. So 3, 6, 12. This will be the final GP. If the GP is 5, 10, 20, there are two GPs here. There are two GPs. 5, 10, 20, this is one GP. 1, 2, 8, 0, 6, 40, 3, 20 is uh, another GP. They have their n terms equal. So, n term of the first series equals n term of the second series. n term of the first series equals n term of the second series. So, a1 r1 n to the power n minus 1 equals a2 r2 n minus 1. n is equal, but a and r are, be, uh, are different for both of the series. What is a here? 5. What is the a for the second series? 1, 2, 8, 0. What is the r for the first one? 10 by 5. That is 2. 2 to the power n minus 1. What is r? 640 by 1, 2, 8, 0. So, it, this is again 1 by 2. 640 into 2 is 1. 280 half now half to the power n minus 1 now 5 you can bring it here uh, on the right hand side and this 2 to the power n minus 1 is already there now multiply this one this right hand side 1 by 2 n minus 1 is 2 to the power n minus 1 only 1 by 2 to the power n minus 1 so now take this on the left hand side cross multiply and 5 on the right hand side in the denominator so you get 2 raise n minus 1 2 raise n minus 1 equals 1280 by 5 this equals 256 this is 2 to the power twice of n minus 1. That is twice of 2 n minus 2. You can take 2 common. Twice of n minus 2. So this is 2 n minus 2 or 2 2 into n minus 1. So 2 n minus 1 is there. 256 you can write it as 2 to the power 8. 2 raised to power 8 is 256. So this is 2 raised to the power 2 n minus 1. Now you can equate this. You can equate this to twice of n minus 1 equals 8. So n minus 1 equals 2 for the 8. So n becomes 1 plus 4 that is 5. So the fifth term of these two different GPs are equal. If A, B, C, D and P, A, B, C, D and P are different real numbers such that this is given, this is less less than or equal to 0, we have to show that A, B, C, D are in GP. So, if A, B, C, D are in GP, what does it mean? It means B by A should equal C by B should equal D by C. This is what you have to prove. Now, if you see, these are three terms. Now, we will take one term from the first bracket, second term from the second bracket, third term from the third bracket and combine them. So, first is what? A square, P square. Then we have minus 2ab, 2abp. Then we have b square. So a square, p square you take. Then you take uh, b square, p square, you put it here. c square, uh, p square is here in the third bracket. Now take the second bracket. Minus 2abp, put it here. Minus 2bcp, uh, you put it here on the second, second bracket. And minus 2cdp in the third bracket. Co combined with c square p square coming to the third one b square with the first term c square and d square in the respective brackets now the first bracket which has become is a p minus b whole square a square p square plus b square minus 2 a p b it is a p minus b whole square this will also be b p minus c whole square this is c p minus d whole square so when this is square 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 so there are three terms you square them and add that means all the all the terms have to be zero all the term have to be 0, a p minus b equals 0 and b p minus c should also be equal to 0 and c p minus d, see b p minus, this is b p minus c is equal to 0, so c p minus d also equals to 0. If I say x square y square plus z square is equal to 0, that means x and y and z has to be 0 separately, separately. So, what do you get? P equals A, P equals B and P equals B by A. P equals B by A. Here you get P equals C by B. Here you get P equals D by C. Now, all these are P. So, equate them. B by A, C by D, D by C. This is what was wanted. 
and this is that is why you have a b c d in g p if a plus b x by a minus b x equals this equals b plus c x by b minus c x equals c plus d x by c minus d x x is not equal to 0 then we have to show that a b c d are in gp these all are our, our ncrt questions previous one also this one also ncrt question so a b c d is in gp as we just saw in the previous question b by a should be equal to c by 2 equals d by c so take them separately first two and then last two so let us cross multiply it so i'll just uh, show you how to do this this uh, a plus i'm taking these two a plus a plus bx by a minus bx minus bx equals b plus cx by b minus cx now cross multiply a plus bx multiply b minus cx equals b plus cx a minus bx now just multiply a b minus a c x plus b square x minus b c x square this equals a b a b plus a c x a c x uh, minus b square x and then minus uh, b c x square so what do you get now we have some terms which are common a b b cancels then b b c b c x square cancels what do you get minus a c x plus b square and a c x b square now what you can do there are few methods and uh, you take a c x on one side and you take b square term one side means either you take b square x uh, on the left hand side and minus b square x on the left hand side and since a c x is on the right hand side we will take minus a c x which is on the left hand side to the right hand side so what you are going to get, get b square x two times and a c x also two, two times this is what you have to do so what i am trying to suggest is take the b square because we want ultimately b square equals a c so that is why b square equals a c we want that is why what we are going to do b square x b square x one side and a c x a c x one side so b square x take the b square x on here b square x so you have twice of b square x equals a c x a c x twice of a c x a c x plus a c x so now you get 2 b square 2 b square x equals a c x now cancel x both sides but you get and cancel 2 also you get b square equals a c what does that mean this means this means a b c are in g p a b c are in g p now this is the first part now same thing you have to do with these second two terms i hope you will be able to do you are going to get c square equals b d that is b c d are also in g p b c d are also in g p so when a b c are in g p b c d in g p that means a b c d are in g p A fifth, eighth, and eleventh term of a GP are P, Q, and S. We need to prove Q S Q square equals P X. A five is P. A eight A eight is Q. A eleven S. Q square equals P S. So you can write it as Q dot Q equals P S, and you can write it as that means Q dot Q equals P S. Now you can write this as Q by P equals S by Q. Now you know that Q, which is this these terms, Q is AR7 and P is AR4 and S is AR10. So just put in here. So you have just put Q as AR7, P as AR4, and then S AR10, and then you have AR2 to the power 7. Now you just cancel it out r to the power 3 on the left hand side r to the power 3 on the right hand side this is proved we need to prove q square equal ps and this is proved the fourth term of a gp is square of its second term 
and the first term is given that is a is given a is minus 3 so we have to find it seventh term this is a ncrt question so a4 is square of a2 so ar3 is ar2 square ar is the second term so ar cube is a square r square so a a cancel one a will remain then you have this uh, one r will remain r equals a r and a are equal now we have a already given as minus 3 a is already minus 3 just put here r also becomes minus 3 now we have to find out the seventh term we have to find a7 a r to the power 6 a is uh, minus 3 and again minus 3 to the power 6 minus 2 1 8 7 will come in a GP, the third term is 24 and sixth term is 192. T3 is 24 and T6 is 192. We have to find the tenth term. So just divide them. You already know AR, AR5 and AR square, this will get cancelled. R cube will remain. 24 8 is 192, so 8 can be written as 2 cube. R becomes 2. Now, yeah, uh, 2 is there. Now, you have to find out the, so R is 2. Now, you have to find A also. You have found out R, you have to find out A. So, just put it, put in A R square equals 24. R just put as 2. Now, you get A as 24 by 4, uh, that is 6, A is 6. Now, 10th term will be A R to the power 9. A 10 is A R to the power 10 minus 1, 9. A is uh, 6 and uh, here 2 to the power 9 and you get 3072 this is the result so this is uh, one more question and it is not given in the exercise but still it is there if you have other addition you may find this question you can just uh, have a look try to solve it so this is all about this exercise thank you so much take care of yourself